Hey guys, uh, today we are going to go through the session 2 for module 1 for 6th grade and the chapter is uh, chat with a grasshopper. So we've already done session 1 uh, where we learn different pronouns and uh, help the children go through and understand different uh, insects. Uh, so now for this session, uh, to start off with, you're going to uh, refresh their memory and ask them what they learned last week and you're going to collect uh, their at-home activity sheet, which is the pronoun activity. So they're going to uh, give it back to you and you're going to collect it so that you can file it for all the children. And then we just uh, go through what they've learned and then we move to the main question. So opening is going to be a quick uh, recap of what they learned last week. Uh, now for the main creation, uh, you're going to split the class into five groups. Uh, the class is going to be split into five groups and what you're going to do is give them story handouts. So you all have different story handouts. Uh, so every group is given one story handout. Now children are given some time to go and read the story uh, and understand it. So what we'll tell the group to do is to take turns to read the story and understand the story uh, and explain it to each other and uh, like understand the entire story really well. Now after they've done that, uh, what you're going to do is give them different uh, materials like you can give them paint, uh, paper, glue, colors, uh, all these little stationery that they would like and you can ask them to make a creative representation of the story uh, that uh, they have just read. So to start off with you can give them a few examples. Uh, so you have puppets, you have comics and some of us have already made them during our training here in office. So what you can do is you can show them these samples and uh, also give them examples of how you make these and then you tell them to just be creative and come up with different creative representations of their story. Now what they do is after they've made these creative representations, uh, they can share their story to the others using uh, these things that they have created. So it's just going to be a quick um, telling of the story using all these creative things that they have made. It could also be a picture, a painting or just a puppet. Uh, and they tell the story to the others in the class. So this is going to be uh, one part of the main creation. Uh, now for the next part of the main creation, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to make the children split into pairs. So there's two in a team and uh, what they're going to do is ask them to read this, uh, the chapter which has a conversation uh, between two children and a grasshopper. So the chapter is about how two children are talking to a grasshopper and understanding how the grasshopper lives. Uh, so the children are reading this text, understanding the conversation and next what you're going to do is tell them to take the role of the child and build conversations with a grasshopper. So now the children are not going to use the conversation that is in the text. They're going to come up with something new and random and they can just think of anything that they would like to ask the grasshopper. Uh, so they can ask the grasshopper who are your friends, where do you live? or what do you like to eat or are they scared of anything and they can just come up with the most creative questions to ask the grasshopper and they can build a conversation with a grasshopper and this should be not referring the textbook they should do it all by themselves uh, and they have to have a short uh, conversation with the grasshopper uh, now once they've done this they can also take a video in their tabs to show the conversation so they're going to act it out and uh, take a short video of the conversation that they've just created so this is going to be the end of the main creation. Uh, now finally, uh, for the closure, uh, what we have is a very fun activity. So now we'll ask the children to continue to be in their groups. Uh, and what they're going to do is also uh, think of something uh, extremely funny, like something like a gibberish uh, sentence. So it can be like bula la bu or something very random that uh, they can come up with, something in gibberish. And then they're going to continue to be in their characters. And after they continue to be in their characters, they have to say something in gibberish. So if the conversation with the grasshopper for the previous activity was, where did you live? Now, out of that curiosity, they're also going to form something in gibberish and be like, ooh la la la, like, you know, something very, like, very silly and funny that uh, they can ask the grasshopper, but in a gibberish language. So tell them that they're going to talk to the grasshopper in the grasshopper language or something like that and they're going to come up with these random gibberish phrases uh, to ask questions to the grasshopper. So this is how we end the closure and uh, this is going to be a very quick uh, session. Uh, although the activities are quite uh, time consuming, the main question will take quite some time. 
uh, but just make sure that uh, you uh, go with the pace of the children and you help them understand what they're doing and you help them wherever they need uh, your support because some of these activities can be quite challenging so just be there for the children make sure that you're helping them out as they learn new words and learn new creative ways of representing stories or even if they're really shy to come up with something uh, as silly uh, just help them and you also be a part of the group so that you can help them uh, uh, understand how it's done and then uh, uh, have fun with the children so that's the end of this session uh, I'll see you for the next sessions. Thank you.